Good morning. Can you hear us? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It looks like you're set up a good party there. Would you like to meet some of the residents? Please, that'd be yes, lovely. Please. This is Jean. Jean's our youngest veteran at May's house. Hello. And this is Jean. Jean. And Charles is our eldest veteran at May's Hello. house, 101 years young. Charles, I hear you're one of the fittest 101 year olds in the country. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't use the lift, he walks up and down the stairs all the time. Is that his secret, Jean? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles, you you were a, a coder, like a, a, a decipherer, were you? Is that right in the wall? Yes, working in SOE, Special Operations Executive. Charles used to send messages to um, some special people, didn't you, Charles? I did, yes. Who were you sending messages to? The most important one was Winston Churchill. No, really? Because, Charles, you know, uh, Catherine's grandmother um, was at Bletchley. Oh, oh, right, yes. We were always in touch with Bletchley. It's so sad that she's not not here today, uh, but I'd love to speak to her more about it. How, how are you both coping with, with lockdown and everything? Has it been... I, I think you're all in lockdown together, aren't you? Yes, we're, we're all in lockdown together, but um, we're lucky. We're one of the homes that haven't got the dreaded COVID-19. It must be really hard not being able to see your family, so I imagine that's been very difficult for all of you. Well, I talked to my daughter, because she lives in Canada, um, on FaceTime. And she said, oh, please say hi to them from her. <laughs> <laughs> well, say hi back as well. <laughs> and do you both remember VD? Do you remember it? Is it something that, that stuck with you all these years? Well, I was very small at the time, but I can remember the street party. The whole of the street turned into one big table and we all, um, you know, had a party. I can remember that. Yes, we were in Greece at the time. And uh, I had to go around early in the morning with rum for all the men. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were the uh, you were the hero of the time there, Charles, delivering rum out to everybody. Yes, lovely. <laughs> well, the children currently, um, the school has set all the children a challenge, and they're currently trying to learn the lyrics in the song to "We'll Meet Again." Um, oh. Hopefully, putting that all together. So it's been really lovely having that playing every day. Yeah. Well, it's been it's been a real pleasure to speak to you both and and enjoy today. And and because we can't be together, everyone's still thinking of you all today. And I'm very proud of everything you you all achieved. Thank you. Enjoy your champagne. <laughs> <laughs> and here's two more of our residents, James and Thelma. Super. Oh, there we go. Hello, Hello James. James. Hi, Hello, Thelma. Thelma. Yeah. Give an extra wait. How are you finding things? Obviously, it's really hard with um, lockdown and everything, but how, how are you both and how are you managing? We're managing very well. We've got some very good staff. And work. the staff. So hard on that staff. <laughs> it looks like Susan and her team have done a great job. But James, yeah. are, are we right in saying, did you witness the, the bombing in London um, the, in the Blitz? Did you, did you remember seeing Oh, that? yeah. I was on fire watching. I was about 17. <laughs> And the bomb burst across the road and blew me into the bushes. That took me to Bournemouth Hospital, freezing me. It wasn't bad. Anyway, we got back. My father said, well, that's it. We go back to London. We moved in on the Saturday afternoon and we were bombed out on the same Saturday night. <laughs> and my mum said, one look at my father, and we were covered with soot and dust. And she said, she's a real cockney woman. And she said, I knew we bloody books should have stayed in Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, George is just starting to learn about the Second World War and things like that as well. He would be really honoured to come and speak to you. So maybe another time, George can have a quick chat with you and to hear all your stories as well. It'd be lovely when yes. we've won victory over coronavirus. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> could... That won't be a VE day. That would be a VC day. VC, <laughs> exactly, James. I quite agree. <sighs> Susan, if we can just say a massive well done to you and your team for you know, not only putting on today, but also managing everything so well with what's going on. And so well done. Thank you. We're, we're in it together. We'll carry on fighting it together. Yeah. And enjoy your celebrations today. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody. Have a fun time. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>